First of all, hello. This video gonna be like podcast style cause I don't have time for doing animation and AI voices. So I'm going to use mine. Okay? So I have this weird hobby on checking on Flathub for new GNOME apps. I know this is far more weird than me character but it is what it is. And anyway, I want to show you this one that just had an initial release. Before though, there is also this app that I have tried already. It's basically a small utility that runs a background service with Flatpak portals and acts like a git ignore for recent items on GNOME files. Done from here, let's go back. Mission control then, and I have to confess that I haven't installed and run it yet. That's my first time and no idea how this gonna roll. For one thing, it's a system monitor. Scroll on screenshots perhaps, but we can't resize them, so if you're watching from a phone, I don't think you can see much. But it's definitely GTK4 look. Meanwhile, that tabs on header bar, I don't fancy them at all, totally reminds me GTK3. And the dark theme, so expected. And here is the features. Best of everything, of course, is the Rust Lang that I knew already because I have already checked on GitLab just five minutes before the screencast. Basically, I always check on apps repositories, so I can immediately have a view at least about the activity. Commits, issues fixing and all those. And when you see cargo.toml, you know something good is coming. And by the way, for a first release, this app has enough code. It's not some tiny tool made in two, three days. All right, time to actually try it. Copy the installation command and paste it on terminal. System install. Yes? Done maybe? Okay, so that's it. CPU, memory, disks, network. Oh, it also has a GPU monitor, which is super essential to have. And then we have the apps. Nice, we can hide that, even if that tree UI kinda sucks. Right click doesn't do anything, so I guess we can't shut down apps directly from here just yet. Okay, let's cry. Searching for GNOME Shell, although I just have booted, so it shouldn't be much. Boom, three motherfucking gigs for breakfast. You know, I wasn't planning to upload this, but only to quickly share it to YouTube community. But I know this, when something is a utility and in Rust, it just sells like crazy. Also, I wanted to check out on Google's text-to-speech, ha. Huh?